What's going on hikers? In today's video, we're talking about all the gear that I bring with me on trail. If you're new to the channel, my name's Jeremiah Stringer and here we talk about all things hiking. But we also take you on the adventures because we don't just talk about it, we be about it. Before I tell you about all the gear that I take with me on trail, I want to mention a couple things. First of all, these are my gear preferences, so if I forget something or you have other preferences, I would love for you to comment them below. Secondly, this does not include the clothes that I wear on trail. If you're interested in what kind of clothes you should wear while hiking, I'll link in the description below. I've already done a video about that. My shelter of choice, just a classic tent. That includes the poles, that includes the stakes, the footprint, and the rain fly, along with the tent itself. Currently, I've been using just an REI 2 Plus dome tent. When it's time to finally crawl into that tent, I go with a compressible pillow and a sleeping pad. Of course, you can't forget your sleeping bag. And this thing is really hot. It's time to move on to the kitchen. This is my kitchen. Let's take a look inside. First thing in the kitchen is the cooking pot and the lid. To clean my cooking pot, even though it's a little extra weight, I like to take with me a scrubbing pad. Next thing is something you don't necessarily need, but what I always like to take, and that's a collapsible cup. I love this thing because I can drink my coffee out of it while I eat breakfast, and it has little measurements inside, so I know how much water to put in my food. To eat with, I just bring a spork. For cooking in the kitchen, I picked up a small camping stove at one of my local sporting goods stores and some fuel to go with it. To drink, I go with the Smart Water Bottle paired with the Sawyer Squeeze. I also like to bring a couple of gallon Ziploc bags as well as some hand sanitizer. The last thing that you need from the kitchen is of course food. Also, some way to protect that food from critters. I go with 50 foot of nylon cord and I like to hang a bear bag PCT style. Next up on that gear list, we have general hiking gear. To top it off, of course, if you're going hiking, you need a backpack. Even if the weather's not predicting any rain, I always take rain jacket as well as a cover to go on the outside of my pack. In addition to that pack cover, just in case it does rain, I like to line the inside of my pack with a contractor bag or just a dry bag. Something that I never hike without are my trekking poles. A little hack for you, if you put some duct tape around your trekking poles, anytime you need it, you'll always have some with you. For not hiking and around your campsite, I always take a headlamp. I prefer one that also has a red light. That way if you're out on trail and you get into a camp light, you're not blinding everybody with that bright white light. Next up for general hiking gear is just a simple big lighter. I always have two on me at all times. Oh yeah, also while out on trail, I still enjoy listening to music, I take pictures, I take videos, and I use my phone for apps. So while out on trail, I bring with me an electronics bag. This is just simply a Ziploc bag and in it, I like to keep all my cords, my chargers, and a portable charger in case I run out of power. Also, this isn't plugged into anything. 
Also included in the electronics bag is some extra AAA batteries for my headlamp. Of course, while on trail, you need some type of blade. I've heard of some people using a razor blade just because it's super light, but personally, I prefer a small pocket knife. Let's wrap this up with our hygiene and first aid. In my hygiene bag, I have toothpaste, I have a toothbrush, and dental floss. In a separate hygiene bag, I keep a spade. This is the deuce of spades. I keep a roll of toilet paper, and wet wipes. If I'm not trying to embrace the stink, sometimes I'll bring deodorant. That is, if I feel like carrying the weight. And some baby powder or gold bond. Baby powder especially because it's great if you get any irritation, as well as it doubles as some dry shampoo. As for the first aid kit, I just keep a Ziploc bag and it's pretty bare bones. In here I have band-aids, I have mole skin, great for blisters. I also have triple antibiotic ointment. I have antihistamines for allergies. I have ibuprofen, that good old vitamin I. And lastly, I have some Pepto slash Tums, just in case I get any heartburn or stomach problems. That's it guys. That is all the gear that I take on trail. If I forgot something, please comment below and let me know what I forgot. If you enjoy, smash that like button, subscribe for more. I'm Jeremiah Stringer. It's time to get this bag packed back up because I need to hit the trails.